I got some coffee here now. Oh, if you put the whole string and everything down in my cup. I don't think it did. Well, it's down there. It's in the sink, very okay. good. Well, when did you take it out? Oh, when in the hell did you think I took it out? It's not in here. I always, <laughs> when it poured water, didn't it? I always bring it in here and take it out. I reckon we'll keep that on that tape. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's good, best acting we've done yet. Why, well, absolutely. It's just so natural. <laughs> you want it natural, don't you, guys? You betcha. That's one of those stupid questions. Yeah. Well, listen, we uh, we missed a little bit on that last day, so we got to tell some of it over. Oh, we do. <laughs> I think we talked about that glorious September 5th date, 1948, when old John was born. How about the contract we're under here? I got to go through the thing and go over without being paid. <laughs> so you think you're under contract to do this, t this movie, huh? Yeah, making this movie, I want my money. Well, anyway. Uh, I heard that we left off there on the farm where you had 230 acres, and we were talking, now I think the thing we missed was your cars. Uh -oh. So you had a 49 Ford that you really liked, and you traded it onto a 51 Packard. And the reason you traded on the Packard is because you thought that the Packard was like Cadillac. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and the, uh, That's because you... the reason Dale wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> had a better car than he did. <laughs> And because you did so well that year, you worked hard and you deserved it, so that's good. That's good. The deal, he, could, he bought a new Buick every two years. Every two years. He owned a grocery store in Frankfurt. Uh, years ago. Well, I guess he done real well, didn't he? Yes, he was a good Well, it's, uh, was the a good boy he raised man. took it over, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what if he still lived? No, he died a long time ago. I can't remember what it was, but some cancer. Dale Orm? Okay. No, the boy that uh, lived with Dale and Florence. And, they uh, never had children of their own. I, I just remember their house real well. I mean, it was. Oh, it was nice. Oh, it was so nice, you know, for back. I mean, it wasn't that big of a house, actually. No, but, uh, but the furniture they had, and the yeah. way she had. Oh, the it was way, all antique. Well, the way she uh, had Rich. everything mm -hmm. arranged. Yeah, just uh, you walked in. I remember you walked Picture in that. perfect. Yeah, uh -huh. looked like out of a good housekeeping or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and she took care of it. I remember you walked in that back room. You know where the uh, uh, when you drove in the driveway, you walked in that room. They had a lot of it seemed like cedar or something and uh, naughty pine. Naughty pine maybe. Uh -huh. And then they had a lot of uh, wicker furniture. And then the chandeliers in the house. Is that wicker furniture? Maybe. Maybe in that back room. It was kind of like a study or a, or a family, room. family room or something, yeah. Then you walked through the kitchen and everything was so nice. And then that front room was a chandelier or maybe or something. And then that, didn't she have like a sunroom or something? She had a porch outside the kitchen. And you know, uh, uh, a lot of times the mother was nursing or something, Florence would have me over for a meal. Right. Have me at noon. Mm -hmm. Not too many times. It was just they were the kind of people they were. Nice people, yeah. Really sweet. And they, and they liked us. And I just can't understand Dale not wanting to stay. <laughs> well, he wanted the money. I know. Okay. Just couldn't he, the money. Well, I think he's bored and not working in the summertime. And mm -hmm. of course, they always took trips. In order to take a trip, he was on his farm. Yeah. He can't mm -hmm. really hard to help. Yeah. But, um, uh, Okay. Oh, coffee tastes good. Okay, Steve was born December 9th, and I think we, I don't know that we got on tape, 52. but 52, uh, 50. Oh yeah, 50. So it was December 9th, 50. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether we got on tape before, but you know, you you would go see, uh, okay, Grandma and Grandpa Davis was up there a lot because you worked together, and shared equipment and stuff, and you were seeing, going over to their house quite a bit and stuff. But you say you you drive over to uh, uh, Darlington and see your folks out in the country uh, about once a week. Yeah, about once a week. And uh, of course, our my parents, uh, my mother's health was deteriorating. Oh, I see, she died in '58, 
and she was having trouble walking. I'd say all 50 after Mike was born. And then she was in bed about a year before she passed away. And then, and of course, all during that time, we girls run back and forth, taking care of the house and the laundry. And, and um, then Dad finally had some nurses that came in and helped them during the week. And we just went on weekends. The two kids would go with us and stay all night down there. When I went, of course, Keith had to win and stay all night. But uh, that was, uh, I mean, it was just such a close relationship, the theme uh, among the families. You know, Keith's sister and brother was, knew my parents and my sisters, and, and everyone cared about one another and interested. And that's what I've missed in my family, us being able to be close together and have families. Mm -hmm. But it's never going to happen like that again. Exactly. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, so, okay, Dad, you left that, we left that farm in 52, Dale Orange Farm in 52. Okay. What? In the fall. Fall of 52. Probably. No, in spring. Always spring. Mm -hmm. moved always in the spring. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it drops okay, he gave you notice and then you moved on to the next farm in the spring of uh, 53. Spring of 53 or spring of 52? 53. Okay, spring of 53. And, uh, and we moved yeah, because you had to take the crop out. No, I believe we moved to uh, Longview Farm in 53. We did. Okay, I was 52. Okay, so you moved, okay, so. Because Mike was born at Longview. Yeah. That's that's the uh, where we grew up at. Yeah. Okay. Longview. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in in '52, then we moved over to that farm in Kirkland for a year. You say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, yeah. Yep. Okay. So you moved the Kirkland when we moved there. That house didn't have inside water or plumbing. It didn't have a toilet or a bathroom. It's everything, you know, a pump outside, and he. Put in a bathroom and uh, water. And the neighbors around here couldn't believe he'd spend money doing that. What was his name? Walter. Uh, Mash. Mash. But then. Uh, you can dunk on the guy. It's two, I like him. 250 acres. And uh, you raised cattle and stuff? No, uh, we just had a few hogs together. How'd you, how'd you hear about him, or how'd you? I don't know. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't remember how we got on there. Probably heard an elevator somewhere back to usually where you hear those things. Kirkland. Mm -hmm. What side know. of Kirkland was it? Huh? What no, side? Of, north of Kirkland? Uh, the Kirkland Brick Road, they called it. The old Brick Road was from running Frankfurt. from Frankfurt to Kirkland. But we'd like to go Frankfurt to Kirkland. Well, the thing I remember about that place, the main thing I remember is uh, the movies that, oh, yeah. that Mom made. That she made a lot of eight millimeter movies about. Them. She must. You must have bought that camera that year or year think, before. No, I bought it when he was a baby. Okay, 48, 49, probably. Yeah. Yeah. But that year was '53, and I was about five, and Steve was about three, and I remember. Uh, the Christmas pictures and that train that Grandpa Davis set up yes. on that Christmas tree. Your dad set it up, but your grandpa came and played with it. That's what I remember. Grandpa liked to play with you kids. Oh yeah, he came with you. Soon after, we all got up. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. And he was such a jolly person. You know, happy. Yeah. And then when he's mad, he's mad. You never saw him when I was mad. Mm, I have. I've seen, him, I've seen him crack on an old fortune tractor go in the dark. He cuts that thing, and I mean, you can hear him all over the neighborhood. Uh, he had a temper, yeah. but you kids never saw it. I never saw it. No, he was sweet. I just remember Wrigley's spearmint gum. That's, that's where I learned my temper. There. That's where you learned your bad words. <laughs> 
I remember Wrigley Spearmint Gum and Dixie Cups. Dixie Cups. Ice cream. Mm-hmm. Then all ice cream and Dixie Cups. Whenever I go to Grandma Davis's house, it was uh, Grandpa Davis would go to the cupboard and get Wrigley Spearmint Gum. When you're all out in the field, Grandma Davis take us up to the freezer and get us Dixie Cups. Me and Steve. Probably Mike later on. But, uh, okay, so you left that farm in 53, and that's when you heard about the farm that all those three kids and Betty Jane ended up growing up on. Yeah, three boys. And how'd you hear about it, or what'd you? I think, uh, well, Leroy Good, Jeffrey Snell, was telling me about it. And, uh, he knew one of the owners, well, sort of knew him. And, uh, he gave me a told me where he lived. But somebody went with me. Oh, I believe they were pretty well. Somebody went with me down there to talk to this guy. Which guy? One of the owners. Uh, uh, on the Longview Farm. Well, it was five professors, wasn't it? Yeah, but I can't think of his name. <laughs> Bob? It wasn't him, it wasn't Nectar, and it wasn't Cason. It wasn't the back to the one. I can't think of his name. <laughs> Thought about everybody else's, didn't you? <laughs> well, at that time, there were seven owners. Yeah. Seven? Cobra. Yeah, there were seven. But you wanted to, uh, we'll be making this picture on mom, and you're doing all the time. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, doing what? Uh, that's all right. Uh, how many, so you left that Kirkland farm because you wanted to get farming bigger. Bigger and closer to folks. Yeah, pretty good you know. Yeah. How big a farm was it? 350 something. 350. You know what? I know when he took me to see it. You, know, you like this house. It's got a fireplace. And then every house I lived on that ever had a fireplace. After that, he never wanted to start a fire. It's a little too dangerous. But then, see, he would, that was his selling point to tell me that there was outside a fireplace. Of course, we used the fireplace many times when we had to, didn't we? That's right. When the snowstorms and the electricity went off. I can remember a few times the fluid kept on the fire, too. Mm -hmm. You know, whew. Remember how they used to do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, side looked just a rough little fire. But it was a real nice house. Oh, I love that house. Mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember that real well. You know, by that time I was five, six years old. And mm -hmm. Of course, I spent the next 10 years in that house, you know, mm -hmm. 10, 12 years in that house. Uh, that's what well, I remember. Steve wants to take his family to see that 18 house. 18 years. 18 years we were on that farm? Is that right? Yeah, yeah I farmed for 21 years, and 18 of them was. But it was 18 years we were there. I was thinking I just farmed 21 years. That wouldn't be right, would it? I don't know. That'd be just 1971. Is that when you had farm sale left? Yeah. Yeah, 71. Well, let's see. Uh, <coughs> what can we talk about on the. Steve and Ben Horn. Yeah. He was the cutest little kid. Great big eyes, brown eyes, the brownest eyes. Funny shaped head. No, he doesn't. <laughs> now he won't like hearing that. Get away from me. Let go. He was just a <laughs> most classy little boy. He was a classy little boy, and I'll never forget you trying to teach him how to suck his thumb. <laughs> trying to teach him. I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> that you two of you sitting on the floor. Of course, he had just learned to sit up. And there you were sitting there right by him, and you were looking right at him, and you had your thumb in his mouth. He was looking up at you, and it was so funny. You took your thumb out and stuck it back in your mouth, and then he stuck his thumb in his mouth. <laughs> I never forget that. The best thing I can remember about Steve was a little kid. You kids had to play, uh, well, he had to play mustache, one of them little artificial mustaches. And he came a crying one time, and I, your mother asked what's the matter, and one of them, he said, I dropped my mustache in the toilet. 
<laughs> and see, that whole thing, all the time that I was carrying Steve, I wanted to have another little boy so that he, John would have a little brother. Now, isn't that silly? But that's all I thought of him. Somebody to play with. Yeah, okay, something for John to play with. <laughs> Yeah, but then you were always so good to him, looking after him. You did. You just looked at him like a little brother. <laughs> so I always thought my children were easy to raise. I don't know. I don't. I don't have memories of like a lot of people do about their kids being some honorary. I just love to see myself on TV. <laughs> Did you ever look up there? No, I don't you like. I don't like to look at myself. You look at yourself. I don't want to look Aren't at myself. Aren't you beautiful? Uh, at first, seventy-three, I guess. You look know, just about like other seventy-three-year-olds. Would you take a picture of me washing your hair? Yeah, you couldn't believe it. Um, let's see. Uh, Mike was. What are you going to say? Give me a hard time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Mike. When was he born? I don't know. 53. I guess so. Steve was born in 50, so Mike was born in 53. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, what do you remember about that? Well, we had to take you and Steve to Grandma's before we went to the hospital. And then we went to the hospital and had Mike. Let's see. I've got it written down in the book, what time and everything. I remember, I kind of remember, I definitely remember going to Grandma Davis's. Yeah. And it seemed like I remember maybe going to the hospital with Dad to pick Mike up or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, maybe, maybe you did. I don't, you know, I don't think we, I mean, we would have met you at admissions or wherever, I guess. Mm -hmm. but. And, uh, he was a real pretty baby. We went on the way, when we got home, I saw poor old Bullock, and he looked like he didn't have a friend in the world. But here he come meeting us, and he was real ragged, and he was so skinny, and it wasn't too many days or a week after that that you know, I saw him heading for a snow uh, pile, pile of snow, went call him drift, and he, he dug a bit out of him and called him. And evidently he had a real high temperature. And, and I imagine he had pneumonia, but he didn't, you know, he had to eat all food all the time I was in the hospital because he was taking care of the farm and you kids, three, no, two kids, and coming to see me if I need anything. So he didn't have time to take care of the dog. I don't remember, uh, I remember. Uh, you're saying so Bullet didn't live much after Mike was born. Then. That's right. I, I thought Bullet was around longer than that. I, I remember him just real well. Uh, when, you know, I think how well, old maybe was... Maybe it was Betty Jane then, after Betty Jane was born. Well, I, well, I, was I don't born. remember whether he lived that long or not, but well, he might have. I thought Bullet was around. Yeah, I bet it was Betty Jane. Well, she was going to go to the bar and start the cat going to the road and hogs. Yeah. That just got me up a little bit. But I remember, uh, uh, when did you get Bullet? How, well, didn't you get him for like my birthday Well, when we lived on the Kirkland Brick Road that one year. He was a puppy. He, uh, he was a puppy. It was your birthday. My birthday? Uh, that year. Second, third birthday, what? Third or fourth birthday? Uh -huh. 
third birthday or fourth. Well, I'd say he lived. 13 years. Yeah, and, 12, 13 years, so that put him up around Betty Jane. Then. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought he surely lived. I think Mike remembers him too. I think I'm sure he does. Maybe yeah, I bet he does too. I'm not thinking about the pictures. Yeah. I I just remember a lot of the pictures around the house, your movie camera pictures and everything, where Bullock was uh, under the table when mm -hmm. it was storming and and around for mm -hmm. birthdays and stuff. About right between door down and then. Yeah, oh, he maybe. usually was. He was usually outside except during storms, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Every now and then we let him in, but mm -hmm. most time he was outside. Mm -hmm. He was a good old dog. Good. And that, because we had Casey at that time too. We had Bolden and Casey. Mm -hmm. Casey no, I never liked uh, Casey. You didn't like Casey? Casey would run around all the time at night. Yeah. He'd come home and play around all day. I think he got into the neighbor's shoot. Well, Casey was Steve's dog. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Casey was Steve's dog. Yeah. That was me. Yeah. I always remember, uh, I always said a prayer at night and I always included the dogs. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Okay. Remember Dum Dum? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you still said prayers tonight. Yeah. Nice. You did for a long, long time. Yeah, I did. I'd say right up through college or something, probably. Mm -hmm. It's a good, it makes me feel good. It makes me, uh, I don't know, it just relaxes me. And I, I, it makes me happy. <coughs> yeah. uh, let's see. But I, you know, of course, the farm is when us kids really grew up, and what, probably what we all remember the, the best, I'd say. Definitely what I remember is probably Steve and pretty well Mike, too. Mike probably remembers Mulberry better than I do, and, and so on. But uh, Let's see, we went on some trips. We bought that... Uh, Bought that 56 Dodge, which you say is a 55. I know that thing was purple and white. I know it was. Three purple? Two. I can't imagine. It's three color. Was it three? Yeah. And it might have had time it took one to come out three tone. I just, you know, it was at the pretty. time. It was pretty cool. Oh, I thought it was so pretty. Well, of course, they didn't have, they weren't big on colors until about then. It used to be just black and white and brown about all you ever got. I think yeah. that, that's your mother growing something going on at Jefferson Schoolhouse. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Well, that's something I kind of remember is going to the basketball games and going to the things at Jefferson. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when I would have been about a fourth or fifth grader, going to the uh, high school basketball games. Yeah. 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 That's one thing. I I don't know. I always like to go to basketball games. Mm -hmm. And go to uh, cook-ins. You, you, I remember you'd take uh, food and go to uh, whatever. Oh, we had the PTO. Uh, parent teachers? Uh -huh. yeah. I started it. You did? Yes, I started it. Yeah. When I was in grade school? Mm-hmm. Well, of course, we remember uh, pictures of uh, that you uh, did 8 millimeter movies of, of stuff in school, like the Halloween thing where all our us yeah. kids walked through and Halloween. I remember when he was a paper, a paper box, a newspaper. I was a newspaper. Mm -hmm. I had taken a box and cut it out and put it over your head on, you know, on your shoulders, and then it was covered with newspapers. And, uh, oh, everybody always liked me to come because I had your kids dressed up in something different. What did you have Steve dressed up in? Oh, one time he was a lion. He used to. Gunny sack and made a something come over his clothes. And then he made a tail. And I some I suppose I don't know what kind of mask. Surely it was an animal mask or something. I don't know. Remember everything you dressed Mike up in? Oh gee. I don't remember. Yeah. Sometime I'll think about it. Now were you working then? At that point? When no, I didn't work till Mike was eight years old. Until Mike was eight. Once in a while, maybe a little case. Yeah. Not, I mean, yeah. Neighbors or something. 